Hey there, welcome back to my channel for another video. A while ago, I had created the lettering on iPad and I wanted to make that 3D, but on Illustrator without using any other 3D software like I do on my other videos. So let's see how to make that a 3D. If anyone wants to get the finalized Illustrator file of this project, I will have it on my Patreon page with the rest of the project files. However, in case you want only this specific project file, I will also upload it on Gumroad so you can get it from there too. All the links will be on the description. I have opened a new document on Illustrator, it is a thousand thousand pixel as usual. I have added the three colors I'm going to use and I have also added the lettering file. Because I got messages quite often about the fonts for my letterings, most of the times these are hand drawn as you saw earlier on the iPad, so I'm not using any fonts. The times I'm using fonts, I mention the names of them so you can find them. So I have added the lettering design which is a raster file, but we need to vectorize it first. The quickest way to do that is to simply use the image trace tool, however I usually use the pen tool because the result will be much better if we do it manually. In this case I will use the image trace because we need to make it quicker and focus on the 3D part. So I select the lettering, then I'm going to image trace. And then I click the black and white, because in this case we have black and white image. However, I would like to remove the white part, not have it at all, so I'm going to advance and then ignore white. Now it has already vectorized it, but I'm going to click the expand button here to keep only the lettering. So here we have it. Now I would like to add some details around it, like some circles on the background. So I'm taking the ellipse tool, I click and hold the shift button and I click and drag to draw the circles. I will add many circles here in different sizes to fill the empty space. I will do the same on the other side. Ok, I think it's fine like that. I will select them all to change the color. In this case, I will use this pink color. So I select the eyedropper tool and I color it with pink. Then I would like to have all these as a single object. So in this case, I'm going to select object, compound path and make. Now I would like to add a gradient on the background. So I select the rectangle tool. Now I select the fill color and then the gradient here. I'm taking the gradient tool to change the angle. I will make it like this. And then I'm going to change the black and white color. So I'm going to choose this color for the white. And for the black I'm going to replace it with the blue color. Now we can just move it below the other layer so it will be on the back. So we have completed the design and we want to make the circles and the lettering 3D now. So I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to the 3D icon here. You can also find from the effects and here, 3D and materials. So I click the 3D and materials, I select the inflate. Depending on your computer, it may take longer or shorter to make this process. So I'm going to edit some of the settings. I will reduce the depth to something like 2 or 3. Yeah, 3 is fine. The twist, I will keep it like that. Also the same as here. Then I'm going to rotate it a bit. So I will move it like that maybe something like 35, yeah. Then the Y axis I will make it minus, minus 8 and the Z axis minus 15, like this. I will move it a bit to the top 
so it will be centered let's move this up a bit I select it again and then I'm going to materials here I will only change the roughness to be a bit less this will have impact on the reflections from the lights and then I'm going to lighting and I will change these settings as well I will make that 100% then this a bit less maybe 90 I will keep the height and softness as they are I will keep the ambient light too this is to give some more details on the lighting sometimes I use it sometimes don't but in this case I will leave it as it is and then I'm going to add the shadow but I won't change these settings either now that we have all the settings as we like we just need to click the render button so this button will render it and make it look very realistic and the result will be much much better this again may take a bit long but it depends on the power of the computer here it is, as you can see it looks quite good if you think we only used illustrator for that the material is quite smooth the shadows and highlights look very nice and it is very close as it had been rendered in a 3D software. So this was the method I used to make the lettering 3D on Illustrator. If you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up, subscribe and of course if you have any questions write me in the comment section below and I will try to answer as soon as possible. See you on the next video.